Liquid glass effect is one of the hottest trends of 2025, and many Elementor web creators wonder how can I implement this cool effect on my websites. So, even though I didn't really find a way to make it as smooth as Apple's designs, I have found a way that includes SVG filters to achieve very similar effect and it looks pretty awesome. So the core of the effect is based on this code. I'll put a link in the description so you can get this code. Just hit the copy and we want to paste this code somewhere in our page. So it means you can put an HTML widget and just place the code here. If you want the effect to be site-wide, like on every page on your website and not necessarily on a specific page, so go ahead to Elementor, custom code, click new code. You can name it liquid glass, locate it in the body end and paste the code here. Now click publish and entire site, save and close. Okay, the next thing we're going to take this class name, Liquid Glass, and on the editor, we're gonna go ahead to the container that we want to apply the effect on, and advanced tab, and under CSS classes, we're gonna paste this class name, and voila. We can add a background color to make it pop a little better, and even a border radius always works well. And you can do the same for every container that you want to apply the effect on. Now I want you to take a look at the code and see that we have a property that says scale 100. Take in mind you can change it to a smaller number to make the distortion a little more subtle or make it bigger like 500 to make it very harsh. Let's see an example. This is how it looks with 500. You can see it's very distorted. Or make it very subtle by putting a smaller number like 50. The next thing I'm going to show you is how to create a cool effect that when you hover the container it's going to glow with a blurred white uh, light spot. So basically, all you have to do is to add this part of CSS to your code, like so. In addition, um, we don't want the, the light to go outside the box, so we'll want to add this overflow hidden property. Now, I must say, if you have mega menus or sub menus or elements that pop out the glass container it's not going to work so take it in mind uh, apart from this we're going to add this javascript snippet and place it in the bottom as you can see i have a cool white reflection where my mouse goes very cool, but again, don't do it if you have submenus, etc. Thank you for watching. If you love this type of content, make sure you follow my channel and hit the like button. Thank you for now and bye.